Unreal Engine 5 was officially launched yesterday, marking a new era of game making for Epic and a new generation of games that will more readily use next-gen tools and technologies. Epic hosted a State of Unreal event early on Tuesday morning, where they made the announcement official, as well as a few other bits of news. The Unreal Engine has been an industry staple for a number of years, and Unreal 4 itself has had a run of about eight years, so there's a pretty good chance one of your favorite games was made using that engine. The improvements in Unreal 5 are many, in which Epic hopes to stream Online game making so developers can quote put creativity first end quote in short there are new systems for lighting as well as features that will improve developers ability to more easily add geometric detail unreal 5 also approaches rendering and streaming 3d worlds differently using a new partition system that only streams the necessary assets at a given time which in turn will allow for better performance as well as bigger and more realistic world building there are also new tools for animation and modeling within the engine itself as well as a range of improvements that are helping unreal 5 to achieve so much more than its predecessors. MetaHuman Creator is a cloud-based application developed for use alongside Unreal 5 that can generate photorealistic human characters that can then be brought into the engine, rigged, and ready to animate. In addition, thanks to Epic's purchase of Quixel back in 2019, Unreal 5 will also make use of a massive library of high-quality photorealistic environment assets. There's even a phone app that lets developers scan in their own 3D models. Epic is also taking a page out of Unity's playbook with a new community portal and integrating ways to buy 3D assets directly from content creators from all over the world. All this is to say Unreal 5 is streamlining and truncating a lot of game making processes that used to take a lot more time. According to the State of Unreal presentation, Unreal 5 aims to allow developers to create very high quality content more quickly than they ever have before. Alongside the rundown of all the cool new Unreal 5 features, Epic also announced it would be making two sample projects available for free that anyone can download and mess around with. The first is Lyra, a complete multiplayer game project, and the presentation walks through how easy it is to open the project in Unreal 5 and just start editing. Part of the demonstration shows off Epic's new global illumination and reflection technology, which they call Lumen. Technical art direction lead Zach Parrish moves the sun around here in this example, and the end result is dynamic lighting effects that change with the scene. Parrish also showed off some new procedural geometry tools that allow them to fundamentally change a level and then test it in a matter of minutes. The other free project is basically the city that Epic built for the Unreal 5 The Matrix Awakens tech demo. If you are interested in developing games and just want to see some of the new tech in action, you can download The Matrix Awakens tech demo on Xbox Series X, Series S, or PlayStation 5 right now. Epic also boasts that they easily transitioned Fortnite, which was previously running on Unreal 4, to Unreal 5 without any major modifications to Fortnite's code or content. Content. This happened with the Fortnite Chapter 3 update back in December, and according to developers in the presentation, so far the transition has been pretty seamless. In addition, Epic made note of all the developers they are currently partnered with, who likely had early access to Unreal 5 or, you know, will start developing on the engine in the very near future. Specifically though, they revealed that Xbox Studio The Coalition has been developing prototypes with Unreal 5 and testing its performance on Xbox. If you remember, The Coalition also helped with the Matrix Awakens demo, so it seems like only a matter of time before we see a trailer for the next Gears of War, which will certainly be making use of the new engine. CD Projekt Red has also teamed up with Epic, which was announced last month alongside the reveal of the next Witcher game, and both companies have gone on record saying that that relationship is geared towards building better tools for open world game making. Maybe one of the bigger announcements from the presentation is that Crystal Dynamics will be building the next Tomb Raider game using Unreal 5, but outside of just saying it exists, there wasn't a trailer to show or anything like that. Other major titles already confirmed to be using Unreal 5 5 include Redfall, Black Myth Wukong, Hellblade 2, Dragon Quest 12, and Stalker 2, and there are likely more big title announcements on the way. However, according to Epic and their partners, Unreal 5 isn't just for AAA development. Colin Penty, the Coalition's technical art director, said during the State of Unreal event that Unreal 5 will be a great entry point for indie developers as well. Unreal Engine 5 is available for free right now for anyone to download, and Epic only begins taking a 5% royalty if a ship game earns more than a million dollars. That's it for today. I know these types of announcements can be kind of boring, but it's exciting to see such a large sea change in the medium's history. Uh, I know Unreal 5 doesn't exist in a vacuum, and there are other game engines out there being used by different studios that are generally proprietary, but that are doing, you know, next-gen level work and producing amazing results. Um, however, so many different developers use Unreal that uh, this is going to be a large shift that we're going to see over the next year or two. Uh, as a proper send-off, uh, let's, you know, think about our favorite Unreal Engine 4 games. List them off in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video.